So wait, this is the first you're hearing about Sandra Bullock getting baby's foreskin injected into her face. Yeah, uh, as far as I remember. And that's your reaction? Like, this isn't more surprising to you? No, not at all. White bitch has been doing shit like this a long time. <laughs> down welcome back to another episode of gamer <laughs> flavor ah! uh i'm beaker and i'm crazy that's half-life alex and we're getting through this we're this we're all in this together nah, nah, nah. damn it damn. don't know the words but i know the beat so medical supplies I found a shotgun. <laughs> Why don't we get one? Why don't we get three, actually? I already have one. Okay, but there's more right there. Shotgun buddies. I guess everybody hopes they'd be on the resistance side, but realistically, you've got these demon head crab things that just jump around and jump onto your face, take control of your body, and slip, split your rib cage open. I feel like I might be a little scared trying to come after these guys. Oh, you think? And then you've got these Hitler troops. You know what? I probably will not last long. And depending on the city, like, do I have video games? Can I just stay in my house? Try to hold it out for Gordon Freeman? <laughs> I mean, you'll need supplies, right? So, I guess there were a lot of people in their houses, but when Dr. Breen took over, um... Does DoorDash still work? I don't think so. You, you know the houses we've been in? People had a sad twin mattress on the, on the floor. Well... And one tube TV. I guess the real question is, is do I have the only thing I need? Oh God. <laughs> Get some help. Oh, I am baby. Need, you need love. <sighs> you need hope. This is the help I need. <laughs> there are things other than, than brewskis. You don't know that. I don't do that many. It is 9.25 in the morning. Stop telling people what time it is when I open beers. <laughs> Last three <laughs> beers on air. <clears throat> oh, this is what time it is. Cut it out of the audio. They don't even know. I just, I'll, need, I'll make a montage of your descent into alcoholism. If this is what the people want to see. Oh, and I'll put it to <laughs> How to Save a Life from that one Scrubs episode. Did I go? Are you gonna, don't use the Let's fray. Go. Use that one song that Sketch likes about doing meth or something. There's a meth song? I don't know. Oh. It's, a, it's not about meth. It's probably about hair. It's about, uh... I'm not the one who's so far away. No, I feel the snake. Oh, oh, oh God! Get out! Get out, Alex! Ugh. 
don't like it. You're gonna learn to like it. Emergency. User dead imminent. Oh, I found... <laughs> I almost said rhubarb pipe. <laughs> Like the pie. <laughs> you got a rhubarb? <laughs> have you ever eaten a rhubarb pie? No. No, I have not. It doesn't sound delicious, though. It doesn't. It's not a good fruit name. They look fine. They look kind of like blackberries, if I remember right. Is it rhubarb or rhubarb? I haven't said the word in four years. There's a the I think it's rhubarbra. Barbara. Mecca rhubarbra. I like how much, how much I get uh, shotgun shells in this hospital. Yeah, that's why you should have grabbed a second shot. Dual wielding shotguns, bruh. That'd be neat. Nice try. Oh, god. I think I missed something. Yep. Oh, no. Is he throwing his babies at you? Yeah. Don't, don't do that. Killed him? No, don't throw your babies at me. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were quoting, um... Do you remember the bad guy from Men in Black? Sugar, water, more. More. <clears throat> mm -mm. Somebody started squishing cockroaches and he was like, Don't, don't. That. Why was that your auntie? Nice. The prime Will of Will Smith. Prime Will Smith was the '90s. Although, have you seen him lately? He looks the exact same with just a little bit of gray in his beard. I mean, yeah. He he's aged very well, but very well. I guess he gets that treatment. Um, what's her name? Sandra Bullock. Do you remember when she was talking about on Ellen? She got baby foreskin pushed into no. her face with tiny needles. What are you pushing into the skin? Well, you push in whatever the facialist would like to insert into your pores. But what is it? It is an extraction from a, um, a, a, um, a piece of skin. Uh, it's foreskin from a Korean baby. I... It's like, it's... No, I do not watch Ellen. <laughs> I thought I sent you this clip. Yeah, so that's what, uh, I don't watch Ellen either. I saw it on a YouTube video. But that's what um, uh, oh, Sandra no. Bullock's been up Gordon. to. Are you okay? Oh my god. Oh god, more zombies. Sandra Bullock. Well, no, uh, even though he looks the same, though, he's got different things coming out, you know? Men in Black and Fresh Prince are one time of Will Smith's career, and, you know, we'll then. Get that back. Oh yeah, we, I mean, we could get something similar someday, but, you know, not the real thing. That one monologue that all actors learn that he did about his pappy to Uncle Phil. Oh my god, why doesn't he love me? Yeah, why didn't he love me, man? God. Or why didn't he want me? Something like that? Yeah, I think that is it. It's so good. Ah, so yeah, much emotion. That was an excellent. That was an excellent scene. So wait, this is the first you're hearing about Sandra Bullock getting baby's foreskin injected into her face. Yeah, uh, as far as I remember. And that's your reaction? Like, this isn't more surprising to you? No, not at all. White bitch has been doing shit like this a long time. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I don't know, that's the most uh, crazy thing I've heard. No, like, that's the thing, is even the normal ones do it now. Like, I have a, a friend of mine, normal white girl, has blonde hair, I think that's all the credentials she needed. Now she's like, 
oh, I'm gonna go get laser eye surgery. I'm like, oh, why? Because you hate your glasses? No, just to be perfect. I'm like, what the? What the fuck? <laughs> she said to be perfect? Something of similar. I'm summarizing, but yeah, I mean, that's the whole thing. Is like, she didn't need to fix it. It wasn't like a medical emergency. She doesn't think oh, she looks whoa. ugly in glasses. It didn't, Wait a minute. Like, it wasn't like Hang a... on. <clears throat> I have glasses. I would have LASIK for no other reason just than you don't have like a tiny little frame of clarity that you can look through. Oh no, that's fine. Right. My little brother had it and had like same kind of reason. He, but when I talk to her and she doesn't say something like that and instead says, I need to fix it. I need to be perfect. Perfection. <laughs> like, like... That's, that's that training from, uh, you know, decades of just beating women down with advertisements saying they're not good enough unless they get this product. Oh yeah, recently she like burned something off her nose. So like one day she's like, do you see oh this my on God. my nose? And I'm like, no, I don't see, I don't see anything on your nose at all. And then she's like, okay, well I'm gonna fucking get rid of it. And then she like, she, I say burn it off. She went to a doctor, they do whatever, freeze it off, burn it off, whatever they do. And then she's, now she's got a big red bump on her nose that's much more <laughs> noticeable. And I'm like, I never saw the first thing. <laughs> Don't tell her it's more no noticeable. <laughs> she knows. It's obvious. Oh no. That's upsetting. <clears throat> So I don't know how to beat this part. Oh, maybe I can... No. Oh. So there's a wire. And that turns it on. But doesn't it also turn that door on? Is there not another way you could get past this area? Oh, do you remember this from... Oh, no. oh you, you weren't there for that one. I played Half-Life 1. There's a part where... Um, I think you did something like this in Half-Life 2. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the boat level. Yeah, see? It holds it up. Let's hope I don't die. But then what? Guess here? And then you go oh. In the oh, my God. Have you ever tried to pull them off the wall with your <laughs> gravity gun? No, I haven't. <clears throat> Interesting thought. Oh my god. Did it. That's what MIT will get you. Doors will open. All those years in MIT. I wish she had David Hayter's voice, just for no reason. All those years at MIT. Uh, pew pew. Get it? Cause it's, no. Pew pew pew. Come on. Sorry about leaving you alone down there, Gordon. I don't think she felt good about that, Jim. I see you did all right without me. Yeah, you remember that, baby. <clears throat> oh, God, not that bad. <laughs> That's a really cool monster idea. Did you see how that thing crawled on top of him before trying to jump at me? He just wants you, bro. I just hate the head crabs. You know, if I put tequila in this beer, oh it would it would be sweet. 
I mean, I guess turn it into a staycation. No, and then I'm gonna go driving around. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, drive it. Must be Christmas time, because I'm driving drunk. Do a lot of that? Just during Christmas. It's around Jesus' birthday. Uh-oh. Zombo. She is just fine no matter what happens. Yeah, you should let her take care of everything, honestly. Right? She, she is the shepherd on which we follow. On which we follow? Shh. <laughs> I'm drunk. Where am I going? <laughs> oh, this How long is it been? Shit's boring as shit. Time? I don't track anything. Tracking how many beers I've had. <laughs> like 15 minutes in. Oh, okay. Cowboy shit! What is it? What does that mean? You don't do cowboy shit, dog? I don't like dirt. Well, I'm the, I'm the renegade. I'm the cowboy of this channel. You're the this? straight shooting fucking douchebag. <laughs> You're the Danny Tanner to my to my Joey. <laughs> Danny Tanner <clears throat> was an excellent father to those kids. No, he was not. And he had the least one-liners of everybody. Even the kids. DJ and Stephanie Tanner had better lines than him. You can take that all the way to the bank. Yeah, but he'd get down on that one knee and go, Deej, let me tell you something. Okay, he did do that. <clears throat> and he commanded the scene. Did he? <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Please be a metal door. <laughs> it was not. Worked okay. Yeah, well, if only Half Life Alex would just take care of him for you. Well, it wouldn't be much of a game then, would it? <clears throat> Slap me. It takes two shotgun blasts to blow up that crate. Right? <laughs> Some strong wood. This one place we order delivery from sometimes has a miso ranch, and every time we get a cup of it, it says miso on it. And every time I think miso honey. Alright, we made it to the train station. I think now's a good time to end this one. The of City 17, you are well okay, whatever. Me so Half Life Alex. We have restored service to much of the commuter transport system in order to carry citizens out of the city as quickly as possible. We have also established camps and triage areas in the surrounding environs. Nice. I repeat, okay. you must evacuate the city at once. While there was certainly a great benefit in destroying the Citadel's teleport core, we have detected one rather unfortunate side effect. It would appear an inevitability that very soon now, the Citadel will be consumed in a destructive event whose magnitude I cannot currently estimate with any certainty, except to say that it will almost certainly irradiate an area of many miles radius. 
Therefore, I repeat, evacuate City 17 at once, if not sooner. I cannot state this without enough undue emphasis. What the fuck are you doing? On a lighter note, if I was you are what he's in saying. one of our designated safe zones, I feel obliged to point out that a more fortunate side effect of the reactor's destruction is the complete removal of the Combine's reproductive suppression field. Previously, certain protein chains important to the process of embryonic development were selectively prevented from forming. This is no longer the case. For those so inclined, now would be an excellent time for procreation. Which is to say, in layman's terms, you should give serious consideration to doing your part for the revival so, of the species. We're supposed to be we fucking. must make the most of the time we have, as it is by no means she certain knows. how much time we have secured ourselves before the Combine attempt to restore their dominion, oh. as they certainly shall. Since this is, in fact, the first opportunity we have had to speak is, openly uh, of the baleful influence wordy. of the Combine, there is much ground to cover. And in fact, I hope to institute a series of useful bulletins in the days ahead. However, for now, we will have to content ourselves with some relatively okay, next time we'll exposition. <laughs> The destabilization of the City 17 reactor has had repercussions.